What inspired me to go into science is, um, well, ever since growing up, I was always a curious mind. I asked a lot of questions growing up, like questions about nature, about stars, where, why are they, where they are, questions about the body. And naturally, um, in high school, I migrated into science subjects. But then when I go to university and I got a chance to do agricultural biotechnology research, I realized science, apart from just um, satisfying my curiosity, is also a tool that can be used to solve many challenges, many mysteries, many challenges facing the humanity. It can be used in different levels, from very low levels to very high levels. So that's what attracted me. And Africa is full of challenges, especially in the food sector and food security. So basically, I want to help contribute in solving the problems facing food security in Africa. Yeah, so I'm an assistant lecturer at University of Dar es Salaam in Tanzania, but also I'm a PhD student uh, under Sandwich Project between uh, a Swedish University of Agriculture and University of Dar es Salaam. Uh, my research focuses on, as I said, using molecular tools to improve food production. And currently I'm studying, um, how, how do we call it? It's uh, a technology that is used to control pests and weeds or, of maize. So I'm trying to understand how soil microorganisms influence the system, how it works, and how we can use natural soil microorganisms to improve that system. That's what I'm working on now. I think there needs to be a lot of improvement in terms of working together, because as scientists, what we know is working in the lab, like just to, we believe what I do has to have impact out there. We don't believe like I have to do the work and have to publicize, I have to reach out and see what other people are doing. We really believe in our work. But as we see the world is changing and science is becoming a lot multidisciplinary, what I have may not be enough to just make, to make an impact and sometimes I also need people from the other field, from my field as well, but people from, let's say, social scientists who help in technology adoption. But that is not, it's, it's lacking in Africa, it's not very well organized. I, I may not be able, I'm not, not be in touch with what is happening in Kenya right now, in, although they are our neighbors, or in Rwanda. So there really needs to be more collaboration and networking and just updating each other on what are the challenges facing our fields like agriculture, biotechnology, uh, how are we trying to solve them. Really, we need to work more on that. I think the education system is lacking that link between research and how is it practical. So it's, it's still traditional, like we, we do research for the sake of research and for as academicians, unfortunately we also do research because we want to publish and you know, just get titles. That uh, innovation component is lacking in terms of uh, how is my research going to impact like someone in rural areas in, you know, like some in local Tanzanian or local in the African. I think that component is lacking and if there could be a link between researchers and say industry or the government policy makers to guide research into something which is more practical, that would be really great. I'm more focusing on bioinformatics, which is basically using uh, computer tools, mathematics and statistics to understand biological questions. What I want to see in five to 10 years is uh, making molecular research in improving plant production like more easy, more faster. When we use computer tools, when we use bioinformatics tools, we can understand how plants interact, let's say, with the environment. How do they interact with uh, pests? How do they interact? Do they respond to temperature changes and stuff like that? And we can design like tools, like say con pest control, based on this data we get from bioinformatics tools. So we'll be able to solve these challenges facing pr food production in real time because conventional tools, for example, used to solve, like say, pest problems. They take a long time such that by the time you have something which is, has to go to farmers, it's obsolete, the pest has evolved. So we want to see more real-time change. We want to see more impact using more modern tools, especially bioinformatics. Yeah, so agriculture has a lot of opportunities. Yeah, it has challenges, but those are actually opportunities because first, there is a growing population in Africa which is projected to increase over the next couple of years. So people need food. And the other challenge is there is climate change and there is decreasing amount of arable land. So we need technologies which will allow us to feed this growing population using the same amount of land and less resources and under unpredictable weather patterns. So there, this is an opportunity for young people to go into agriculture. 
And now it's becoming very versatile. It's, there is urban farming. There is uh, the tools which are helping, like mechanization of uh, uh, farming or animal keeping. So using new technologies in, uh, let's say, new tools and technologies, not just in research, but also in, uh, let's say, ICT machines, which are easily available worldwide due to globalization. I think young people have a unique opportunity to really make a difference in feeding people, in feeding the population.